Hey guys, this is Warlord Productions, and I'm basically bringing you, I guess, a tutorial today. Um, I've seen a few comments on the Spider-Man sprite series animations that I've been uploading, where people have asked me for sprites, asked me to upload sprites to Mediafire, asked me how I get the sprites, do I make them, uh, so on and so forth. The short answer is no, I don't make them, I actually acquire them from websites and stuff. Um, now, finding sprites isn't that hard, but I guess if you don't really know how to do it, it you know, you don't know where to start. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and uh, let's try to get through it as quick as possible. So the three things you're going to need for this, if you want to get sprites to use for your animations and such, you're going to need three things. You're going to need Fighter Factory 3, which is a software, 7-Zip, which is also a software, but it's also optional, and you'll find out why later on, and Mugen Archive, which is a website. Um, there are other websites you can go to if you want to acquire sprites. You can also go to Mugen Free For All or Mugen Multiverse. Those two are also reliable, but the links there sometimes are kind of weird. Mugen Archive is really the most reliable one if you want sprites. So let's go ahead and go there. Okay, guys. So now that you've got Mugen Archive opened up, um, you know you just go to it in a link. I like I said, I have the link for that in the description. If I didn't say it, I'll say it now. The link for all three: Fighter Factory, Seven Zip, and Mugen Archive will all be in the description. Uh, Fighter Factory and 7-Zip are both free, so you don't have to worry about it. So, okay, so here we are, Mugen Archive. It's a really simple website to use. Uh, let's just get straight into it. Mugen Archive is used for both sprites, sprite backgrounds. I think you can get music here, character voices, but it's all really weird and stuff, so I just prefer to stick to backgrounds and sprites. For this video, we're going to be getting a sprite. So, the first place you're going to gonna want to go to if you're looking for a sprite is Downloads. Downloads has all these different categories, all the different stuff. Like I said, you have stages, background music, add-ons, all this different stuff. We're going to be looking for characters, and I'm going to be looking for a Marvel character. I don't know who, but we're going to find one. Uh, so to go to there, I guess, to navigate there, you're going to want to go to Heroes, Manga, and all that other shit, like it says. Um, I'm going to scroll down, and I should see Marvel right there. Marvel Comics. Now, let's go ahead and take a peek. At what we're working with here so now you'll see here it has, it has all these different uh, all these different characters here uh, some of them are edited some of them are original characters uh, some of them are characters like from games like Marvel vs. Capcom and all that other stuff which is how I get like uh, Kyo Kusanagi as Peter Parker and my show and all that other good stuff um, so I guess for now let's just get our hands on Jean Grey let's download Jean Grey that's pretty simple uh, Mugen Archive. Sometimes they have these video uh, these, these video previews so you can see what they look like. That's because Mugen is a video game. Um, a video game made by fans for fans. Uh, Mugen is also free if you want to get that, but I don't feel like uploading a tutorial on how to get Mugen because that's something totally different. Uh, so you'd want to download it. You'd see here there's a like uh, dislike ratio. This one has a lot of likes, so it's a good character. Download. There you go. Now, once it's done downloading, you'll see in the corner here that it is a .rar file. Uh, some computers can open RAR files, some computers can open zip files. My computer can open zip files, but it has trouble with RAR files. I'd probably have to get an outside source for that. And the outside source for that I got is 7-Zip. So what we're going to want to do is open 7-Zip. Uh, pay no mind to all this bullshit that's in my downloads. I'm going to clean it up. Trust me, I'm not a slob. Um, trust me, guys. Let's see here. Uh, there she is, right there. So you're going to want to click on that using 7-Zip. Open it up, double-click it to open up. Now... This is the folder right here. You're going to want to put the character folder somewhere where you'll remember it, somewhere where you can find it. I have an external hard drive where I put all my animation stuff in it. So I'm going to go to that. I'm going to go to my Marvel folder. And you see here that Jean Grey is not there. So let's go ahead and add her there. Um, go ahead and extract that over. Um, I'm going to rename the folder just because I don't like that underscore AVX. So we're going to name rename that Jean Grey space. And then boom. Now. You're not done yet. There's still one final step here. Um, because basically, if I were to, let's say, hold on here. Okay, so yeah. If I were to open up like Iron Man or something, right? You'd see all his files here. You'd see everything there. Um, all the different pictures and stuff. All the sprites that you're going to be using or that I use to animate. But if I were to open Jean Grey, you're going to see these bunch of weird files that look like they don't mean anything and you're not going to really understand them. That's fine, because all that matters here is this right here, this DEF file. We're going to want to open that DEF file. Now, you can't just open it with your computer, so you're going to need Fighter Factory. This is where Fighter Factory comes in. So you're going to want to go ahead and open up Fighter Factory. And when you open up Fighter Factory, you're going to want to go over to Sprites right here. 
And that's basically, this is this little stage here that allows you to see the sprites once you import them from the DEF file. Fighter Factory is a program that's used for editing and creating sprites, but it's also used to export sprites off of the DEF files, which is what I use it for. So to open Gene Grey, we're going to want to go to Project, go to Open. And after you have that open, you're going to want to go to uh, the file, like I said, where you put the folder. So for me, it's in my Marvel folder in my external hard drive. So we're going to go down until we see Jean Grey. There's her folder right there. Open that. And now you'll see her DF file is here. Now, the DF file, sometimes there's multiple, but always go to the DF file that has the character's name on it. That's the one where you'll find the sprites in. So you want to click that, open it up, wait for it to load. And then boom. If you look over here to the left, you'll see 1 slash 808. That's one out of 808 sprites, which is basically how many sprites are in her sheet. And if you click this little arrow here, you'll basically see all of her animations. Um, so here you can basically preview. You could see what you're working with. And uh, yeah, you can do all this other stuff. You could pull it back and forth. So if you take a liking to what you see, you know, you, you know what you're working with. You know what you'll be working with. This is what you want to save this or to save all of these sprites. You're going to want to go up here. Next to where it says definitions, you're going to want to go to sprites and you're going to want to go to save image. When you go to save image, uh, change that, this little this little circle here, change that from current to all. Make sure all is checked off and that's so that all 808 or 3000 or whatever the number sprites are selected to be saved instead of just that one sprite you're previewing. So you're going to want to click OK and after you click OK, it's going to automatically be saved in the Gene Gray folder. So let's name it Gene Gray. And then you just hit save. Wait for that to open up. Well, not open up. You wait for that to save. Bada bing, bada boom. And there you go. Now, you're basically done. Well, not basically. You are done. So now, if I were to go back to the June Gray folder, which is in my external hard drive, you'll see here, if I were to change it to this, you'll see here, now that I've saved it, I have all the images here. And now that you have all the images, they're all PNG files, so you can go ahead and open them in whatever you want. You can open them in, like, Flash. You can open them in, 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 in After Effects. You can open them in Photoshop. Whatever the hell you want to do with them, you can do it. Uh, me sometimes, well, not sometimes, but whenever I download the sprites, I like to get rid of what I don't need. So I just go ahead and delete all this other stuff out of here. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, just need fighter factory, seven zip, Mugen archive, and they're really easy to navigate, really easy to use. Um, and you'd be getting your sprites in no time. All you gotta do is find them on the right website. So that's basically it. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, if you guys need any more help any further help with anything else or get lost be sure to let me know in the comments i'll respond as quick as i can um i hope this tutorial helps um i don't really make tutorials like that i think other than this i've made one other tutorial and that was maybe like five six years ago um but yeah i hope this helps you guys out on you know finding sprites and all that other stuff and uh yeah i'll see you all later